Hello, and welcome once again to Black Fly Gear. My name is Daniel Bryant, and today we're going to be looking at the Fisherman's Pen. It starts out as basically a Bic round stick ballpoint pen. And if you notice, there's a lot of space in there. A lot of space that that little ink reservoir does not take up. So what I've done is I've taken Power Pro braided fishing line and wrapped it around the middle of it. There's actually there's two weights here. This is a lighter weight. It's an 8-pound test. And this is a 20-pound test that would be more appropriate for, say, catfish. And on the outside of each of these, there is a, a shrink wrap piece that's covering up three Eagle Claw size 6 hooks. Now, I'm going to tell you the one thing I don't like about this design is that in order to get these off, you kind of have to cut the shrink wrap. If you guys have any idea, any better way to do this, to where I could actually put the hooks back on after I were to take them off and use them, that would be great because I really don't have anything. I've tried duct tape, and it works. It keeps the hooks on, but the ends start peeling a little bit, and it gets all gummy, and it leaves residue all over the hook. So I didn't really like that. So far, shrink wrap is the best I've come up with. Please, if you have something better, send me an email. Uh, tell me what you got. Now, let me get these off for you. So, go ahead and cut the shrink wrap. Start peeling it back here. And you can see there's actually a second piece of shrink wrap underneath that that helps hold these hooks on. This not only helps with uh, me when I'm making them, but also when you take that off, the hooks don't go flying. Now you can simply slide that off and you've got your one, two, three, size six Eagle Claw hooks. Now, inside the pen, at the very bottom, there are five more hooks. Oh, no, excuse me. There are two Eagle Claw size 10 hooks and four tiny little uh, Mustad size 16 dry fly hooks. And really, the inspiration to include these came when I was, oh, I don't know, about 10 years old. My father was stationed in Iwakuni, Japan. It's a Marine Corps Air Station over there. And we saw these little fishing kits that were sold. And what these Japanese kids would do is they'd take these tiny hooks, go down to the levee, crack some snails open, put a snail on the hook, and catch minnows. Uh, the biggest one was probably no longer than this pen. And they would take skewer sticks like you use for a kebab, make a small fire, and roast maybe a half a dozen or so of these minnows, and that would be their lunch. So, if you want to, if you want to actually eat minnows, that's you know that's cool. Um, if you want to use these to catch bait, that's cool too. But they fit really perfectly inside the very bottom cap of this pen. I don't know if you can actually see that in there on the video, but I can fit four of those in there really nicely, and they are useful. I got a story where a uh, a buddy of mine sees me fishing in this little little stream, and he tells me you're not gonna catch anything there. Well, I got back to camp first, and when he got back. All the drinks had been taken out of his cooler, and somebody had filled it up with water and swimming around in the cooler. There was a little minnow. Yeah, I know nothing about how that got there. Right. Anyway, 
Hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you'd like to buy one, head on over to the shop. If you'd like to make your own, they're really not that hard to make. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this apart because I kind of wound some of one length over the other. I'll tell you how much line I come up with in the uh, show notes, but it's, it's quite a bit. It's enough if you were going to make some, uh, some stick poles or cane poles, you'd actually have enough for a couple of them. And that's about it. I'll put that in the show notes. Have a good one, and y'all take care of each other.